Hey guys, this is your boy Chopper Tom and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the achievement or trophy on Project Cars 3 called Car Collector. For this you need to purchase 25 unique cars. Now what this means is you can't just purchase the cheapest car in the game 25 times. You need to purchase 25 different cars, completely different cars from each other. And yeah, they, they can be modded, you can upgrade them, you can race convert them or whatever. They just need to be 25 different cars. Now yeah the way i have done this i'm done with career mode now and obviously along the way you earn quite a lot of money well i say quite a lot there are points where i was proper struggling for cash but <laughs> you earn a load of money and obviously you sort of buy new cars to unlock certain events and stuff so i've got a whole load of cars already and i'm going to show you a little money making tip by the way in a second so yeah i've just done all of these apart from like hypercar and GT Open. I've done some challenges and invitationals as well. Uh, but yeah, the money making tip for getting money, it's a bit weird in this game. You don't get like a certain amount for winning or whatever. You get like a certain amount of XP during a race, depending on like corner mastering, mastering tracks, clean overtakes, drafting, drifting, all that sort of stuff. And then obviously, the more XP you get, the more you level up, which then gives you cash. Now, Obviously, I've done career mode. I'm like level 14 and I'm getting quite good cash at the minute because the higher level you are, the more cash you get per like part of the level up you go. You know, if, if that makes sense. But anyway, I'm like demonstrating with my hands here. And obviously, you guys can't see that at all. But yeah, the money making method I have just been using gets me like 200,000 uh, credits per roughly like 20 minutes to half an hour. Uh, so if I go into custom event, don't worry, this still does give you uh, money all linked to your career and stuff. You can just do it in custom event. And now there are two different ways, uh, well, two different tracks, really. So the vehicle I have been using for this one is make sure it's an owned vehicle. So a vehicle that you actually own and you want to be choosing sort of the best one with like high grip, lightweight, good acceleration, because we're going to be racing the hardest AI in the game. Don't worry, it's not really difficult. It's just it is what it is. Um, now for the track I have picked the Knock Hill Tri Oval because I use this track a lot in Project Cars 2 and it's it's just one I know very well I think it might be the shortest one in the game you can do like 14 second lap times even like I think some people have done like 10 second lap times but most people will get about 14 second lap times um, and then for the weather obviously you want it to be dry morning you know clear nice summer weather for the settings, you want it on race mode, laps 99. Do not let that put you off, because like I just said, it's like a 14 second lap time. Um, so yeah, it doesn't take very long at all to do 99 laps. Number of AI 31. The reason you want the maximum amount of AI is so that you can get like really good, sorry about that, really good like amount of XP for doing clean overtakes. You're literally constantly overtaking people and it's mad. You get like, half a million XP per race or somewhat close to that obviously depending on how well you've actually raced and how many clean overtakes you've done how many corners you've mastered and all the other stuff opponent vehicles you want that to be identical just because uh, grid position we'll put that last so that there's more people for you to overtake from the beginning and rules of penalties I have that turned off just in case you're struggling you might need to cut a corner or two for me I found it quite easy I'm naturally quite good at racing games so I don't know if everyone will find it easy but um, yeah, this is just so that you can cut corners and stuff. But I finished like two laps ahead of everyone. Uh, and that was in like a 50 lap race. So I can't remember how far ahead of everyone I finished on 99 lap race. But yeah. Anyway, so yeah, you just go into that and start that. The other way for you to do this, it, I found it quite challenging. And I hear that a lot of people do. Um, but you can change the track to the uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway oval version. Now, obviously, for this, you want a good car, like a Formula B car, or just one that's very, very, very good in a straight line, but can also take like corners really well at like 240 miles an hour. So, yeah, it's a bit, bit trickier, that one, but it does reward you more if you can do that one really well. And, and obviously, the lap times are a lot longer, so just lower the laps. But anyway, we've got a whole bunch of cash now. So I'm just going to run through the cars I have quickly. I have uh, one here, these three, these four. I have a whole bunch over here. 
and I think I have about 17 to like 20 cars so far so I'm just going to buy a whole bunch more in the showroom obviously every day as well you want to check your um, oh, what's it called the daily deal I, I've obviously already been on the showroom this morning so it hasn't showed me again but my daily deal was this car for like 14k or something which wasn't bad but yeah so what you want to do is press Y on these cars to organize it by uh, value so when we get to value here and obviously I'm in the 0 to 25,000 section first and then you see the ones you already own have a little garage symbol on them in the sort of bottom left hand corner of the screen so I already own this first one the Ford Escort RS 1600 really nice car actually I'd love to own one of them in real life obviously it's a bit crap but <laughs> acceleration of 2.2 wow anyway so yeah we're gonna buy the next car for 20k and we're gonna buy the Toyota GT86 for 21k and now I'm not gonna buy this one because I have already bought this one and I upgraded it, you know, race converted it and stuff. So I know for a fact I already have that one. I just have it race converted. And I already have this Lancer as well. So I haven't bought the Skyline yet. 32K. I might actually run out of money before getting this achievement. So <laughs> that'll be fun. Right, 29K for this Honda Civic Type R. And then 31.6k for this Audi TTS Coupe. Do you know what? I think on this game they need like an auction house. Can't remember what game that was from, but oh, what game was that from? I don't know, it's going to annoy me, but whatever. They need an auction house, honestly. They really, really, really do. This is actually a really good car in real life. This uh, Renault Baguette. Anyway, I'm giving you like <laughs> breakdowns of all the cars. What am I doing? What I'm doing is going to earn some more money because I've run out of money. Whoops. <laughs> so now that I have some more money, we're going to buy... Well, actually, this is quite a cool ending because I know I need these two cars. This is the car that I was going to buy in real life, and this is a car that I really, really want to buy in real life. So, yeah, let's buy the Mercedes for 34k, and then we should have enough to buy the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo man oh, i love this car anyway 40k we've done that and let's just see if that gives us the achievement which it should there we go car collector 40g nice and easy oh by the way i forgot to mention that for the uh like the race that you do to get some cash obviously you want your ai difficulty to be on the highest the ai uh aggressive level to be on the highest as well and you want all the assists turned off don't worry it's very very easy on this game to race without the assists on that way it gives you the most xp but yeah if you guys have enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way please leave it a like subscribe to see some more content talk to me down in the comments and i will see you guys in the next one goodbye